Have you ever wondered what's inside of your SSD? Let's figure that out. Well, first off, we got to start with our nice iFixit toolkit. And I think this is a beautiful kit. It has plenty of things. It has a magnetic top, so it's easy access. And you get all these bits with it. Look at all those. So, although we're probably not going to be using many of anything in here, I will at least need a uh, flat bladed screwdriver, preferably a smaller one. And because this is what we're working with, it's a 2.5 inch. Now this one currently still works. So my goal is to keep it intact uh, enough to put it back together. And uh, I want to show you what's exactly inside of here because you think that this whole thing is filled, you'd be mistaken. Um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna um, tell you just yet but uh, it's definitely not full. So I probably just kind of gave it away, but that's okay. And we're gonna have to probably destroy this a little bit, but I'm hoping to use this still as some sort of a, um, a drive in the future if I do need it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the seams around here, because it seems like the right idea. And we have to kind of I think get in here somehow. Hopefully it's not glued. I've only taken one of these apart before, so we're kind of figuring this one out together. And just looking, okay. So I did see it pop up here. We gotta do this without hurting ourselves here too. There we go. So we got one corner. You can see it's just bulged up there a little bit. And now we're going to hopefully work our way down. And these just have little, just little retainer clips. I will show you hopefully once I get this apart. So I'm finding that it is bowing here in the center and I'm kind of wondering if there is a screw somewhere, but I didn't feel one before. So either this thing's gonna pop open suddenly. All right, finally got it. It took another four or five minutes. Okay, so it had some clips on the inside here that were really difficult to pop off, but uh, all in all, all the clips survived. Okay, look at look at that big thing. That's it. All this is just plastic with some uh, some steel inserts for your screws. That's it. That's what you get. So that's the size of it. That's what sits in there. But there's your uh, there's your circuit board. Yeah, that's it, guys. It was as simple as that to break down. I just kind of wanted to show you uh, what it looked like. Now let's just see if we can get it back together. I mean, it's probably warped a little bit, but um, I'm uh, hoping for the best here. So if we put it back in like that. And of course this cutout part, did that break? I don't 
think so. It kind of looked like it did. No, I guess that's how it's manufactured. It just looks like it broke right there. So we're going to put this back on. There's the centers. Oop. I say this is going to be easy because the front's not really... really meshing. I wonder if I got that in backwards. I think I do. Come on guys, you're supposed to tell me this. And... Where's that supposed to be? See, now I don't even remember which way I had it. Ah! That's it. Okay. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. Didn't take a picture and it looked kind of funny to me. All right. That's already going back to be together uh, much better. And look at that. We're done. <laughs> Very quick assembly. Uh, that's it. SSD. Uh, that's going to do it for me for this video. I hope you did learn something again. Uh, if you have any questions about this um, process, I mean, not that you should, but if you do, um, you know, feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Generally speaking, it could take me up to a day to post the comment because I have to approve of it and read it and then... Um, uh, respond to it. So you do give me up to a day. Usually it's a lot quicker than that. Um, unless I'm, of course, you know, doing that thing that, uh, we have to do as humans is sleep. So other than that, um, like this video, if you would, please, uh, also share this. And if you are not subscribed, consider subscribing. And after you subscribe, hit that little bell icon next to that subscription button. That way you can get notified of any future videos that I do post. And that's going to do it for me. Until next time, guys, take care.